what is digital pathology? If this is the question you're asking yourself right now, this is the video for you. It doesn't matter where you're coming from, whether you're an absolute beginner or you're already involved in this field, this video will give you either an understanding what it is or a nice script to use when people ask you this question. Pathologist is the doctor that tells you what kind of cancer you are. I know it's oversimplified, but this is one of the main pathologist tasks. They are known as the doctor's doctor. How do they do it? They look at tissue slides under the microscope. They have glass slides. They look under the microscope, recognize pattern, recognize malignant cells, and tell you what kind of cancer you have. So it turns out they don't really have to do it under the microscope. They can also do it on the computer screen. If those glass slides can get digitized and turned into digital images, they can then basically do the same that they were doing under the microscope on a computer screen. And the whole discipline dealing with making those glass slides digital and later working with those digital images is called digital pathology. This is an interdisciplinary med tech area where we have the hardware component. These are the machines that make those glass slides into digital images, also known as whole slide image scanners. The scanners scan the glass images. There is software involved in viewing those images, storing those images, managing those images, and later analyzing what's in the image and drawing conclusions, so-called image analysis software. All this applies to the pathology laboratory, histology laboratory, and pathologist's workflow. Often it has to be conducted in a regulatory compliant environment. So as you can already see, pathologists are not the only ones working in digital pathology. Actually, different types of professionals are involved in this discipline. This can be pathologists, of course, digital pathology, right? Uh, laboratory professionals, uh, laboratory personnel, software developers, computer scientists doing image analysis, regulatory experts, other medical professionals such as oncologists or dermatologists, and in certain cases, also patients, where they can be shown the image of their tissue by their doctor. So this is what digital pathology is in a nutshell. If you wanna learn more, this channel is definitely the place to be. And please don't be a stranger, leave a comment why you stumbled upon this video, and also help me co-create this content so that I can provide the best information for you. I would love to have you on my newsletter. There is a link to a digital pathology starter kit that's gonna bring you into my ecosystem. And there you can just reply to my emails and let me know what is that you wanna learn about digital pathology, what are your current hurdles, and how I can help you with the content I'm creating here on YouTube, on my blog, on my podcast, and all the other channels that I use to spread the word about digital pathology. And I talk to you in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.